Welcome to James A. Chocolate Shops here. Robbie and my dad, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? And we are going to be doing, what are we doing, buttercreams We're going to do a batch of buttercreams. It's about 32 pounds. So 32 pounds. Yeah, we're going to, it's a, definitely old school ways and uh, you'll learn yeah. all about it. Yeah, lots of chocolate. It's an old recipe. Yeah, um, <laughs> I handed down from my uncle, yep. Bill Neiman from Neiman's Chocolate Shop. And uh, yeah, here we are, James J. And we'll uh, make this batch. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, we started out with uh, 25 pounds of, uh, of raw sugar. And I'm just gonna put a nice heaping. And then just maybe a little half, a cream of tartar. This is gonna work as our, as, as they call it, a doctor. So this is gonna, hopefully, uh, this batch won't come back and sugar on us. So that's, that's what the cream of tartar was about. So now I'll just add some, add, get this on the flame here. Add about a gallon of water. And then we're going to cook this baby on high. Water stirred in. Gonna slowly, slowly stir this until I get a boil, then I can stop stirring. Well, we just got to a boil. So one important thing is to get all those cr crystals that are formed on the side washed down. Because you don't want any crystals that could force you to have a a sugaring effect on the whole batch. So, got that down. Now, I'm gonna steam it, steam it for about seven minutes. And then we will add the butter once we get to 2.36. So, set a timer. All right, when this batch reaches 2.50, I'm going to be putting it in. This 1940 cream beater called the Hollywood Cream Beater. Got this from uh, Badger Candy Kitchen. I don't know if any of you remember that in Madison, Wisconsin. But uh, he used this for many, many years. So right now what I did was I sprinkled water in. That's also going to help the batch not sugar. So I'm going to do that. Uh, once I pour this in, uh, I'll have that cold water running. This is all water jacketed. It cools it quick, and uh, then I'll I'll hit the uh, the beaters, and uh, these are called wall beaters, and you'll see why once I get this batch in here. But it's important to have this water on the bottom. All right. Well, that was seven minutes. Take off the steamer, and again, careful. Got to keep those sugar crystals down. Looks good, and then we'll throw the thermometer in. And now it's a little waiting game to 236, and then I add the butter and turn it down a little bit. Otherwise, it'll, it'll come right over the top. All right, uh, we've gotten to 236. Why 236, not 237? I don't know, but I do what's told, <laughs> what my recipes say. So now I've got to kick this fire down just a little bit and add the butter. Now this can get a little hairy sometimes because it tends to keep rising. So hopefully we don't have any disasters. Set that up a little bit. But this is all, all natural, so the flavor you get is the flavor from the butter. Now, once I get this stirred in, uh, I don't have to stir it anymore. But you're just watching out for this to not scorch on the bottom. Well, I wish you folks could smell it because it smells really, really good. 
Now, if any of you are candy makers out there, you kind of know the figure eight. Uh, that's the way I'm stirring it right now is the, is the figure eight and uh, just keeps everything off that bottom. So right now I can't, I can't feel any of those any of those chunks of butter so I can take this out of here so right now this, this dropped the temperature down to about 230 so now we got to climb all the way up to 250 and then we'll be pouring it into the cream beater so we're getting there you can tell how this is rising up here and sometime it goes over the numbers so I have to kind of kind of watch that how much longer, Dad? We've got to be getting there now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of hurry up and wait on this stuff. Yep. Yeah. A lot of patience. No yeah. Doubt. And then you get to that, and then you got to work super quick. Right, right, right. <laughs> I think that's why I like it. Yep, yep. <laughs> and right now, I've got this going up so much that I'm having a hard time. Reading the numbers? Reading the numbers. All oh, right. <laughs> so now I'm going to try to clip this up a little higher. And that seems to work for me, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah, overflosions are never good. We got a ways to go. We're still hanging in. Hanging in at 240. We got to get to 250. And then we'll run around like mad again. All right. Uh, once I pour this into the cream beater, I'm going to be adding a nougat cream. Now I make this nougat cream. A lot of companies just will buy the nougat cream already made and stuff. But I just, I love to make everything from scratch. That's one of my big pet peeves about this place is uh, we just gotta be old fashioned and, and do everything from scratch. Try to use everything that's natural and uh, as, as possibly can. So this is the nougat cream. It'll, it'll, it'll give body to the, to the butter creams and also to the chocolate butter, which I'll be making later for you guys. So. This will get added as soon as I get this poured into there. We're closing in on 250. So right now I'm at about 248. This will give me time to run my thermometer to the sink and then turn the water on. This. This is cold water, so it's all jacketed. And right now, right now the fun part. Since Robbie's doing the camera stuff, he can't help me, so. Here we go. Okay. Now again, this gets... My uncle would say blessings. <laughs> that takes care of any sugar crystals that might be up on the, on the surface of the candy. Right now, add the nougat cream. Kind of spread it around a little bit. Again, this is a egg base nougat, which will uh, going to give these creams some body. All right, the next thing is going to get this baby going. So now I have to kind of move this stuff around a little bit because it kind of it's it starts starts setting up on the sides and on the beaters themselves. So I like to, I like to get that down.
Now this is water jacketed, like I said, it's cooling it, and uh, this is like a perfect one-man machine. Uh, this is like a three foot. They make them up to, to eight feet. So again, this is about 30 pounds of, of candy. What we're doing now is cooling it down. We're transforming the sugar into a, into a nice cream. Later on, I'll be making a batch of uh, chocolate butter out of this same batch. Then these get all hand formed and uh, dipped in dark chocolate, light chocolate. And we've done some butter and white too, so. So this is just one part of the process. As you can see, the sheen has kind of come off. It's got a nice satin look to it. And I'm hoping soon it's gonna start balling up and you'll see what I mean by a ball beater. So that's what these were called way back then. So kind of interesting. Well, this has been a success. It's taken a little while, and like I kind of knew, but we're just about there, and uh, looks like an awesome batch. So now I usually just turn this off, let it cool down a little bit. I am going to. Uh, I like to get it off the beaters right now because it's gonna it's gonna harden up, and it'll just make life easier later when I take it out. So yeah, the next step is basically taking this out, uh, hand roll it, and uh, dip it in chocolate. Uh, I'm gonna take half a batch and make uh, chocolate butter. So maybe I'll get that, that to that today. Uh, we'll see. We're gonna got a busy day. <laughs> Christmas is around the corner. I believe it's about six weeks away. So it's all hands on deck now. So. And that's buttercream for you guys. That's, <laughs> that's buttercream. Oh, yeah. Obviously, it's not rolled up or rolled up, and then no chocolate over it yet. But that's soon to come in yeah, in, it, come. in the next video. Yeah. So yep. got the majority of the work done. I mean, it's there. Yep. Now we just gotta yep. cover it with chocolate, basically. Exactly. That'll be. I don't know when you're doing that. Ah, uh, I might do that tomorrow. Tomorrow. We'll okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna make half the batch in the chocolate butter, so that's gonna. Yep. That'll gonna be, be another a day video. of rolling. Yeah, yeah an, um, another day of rolling and. Uh, and dipping so guys a lot of processes yeah 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 no for sure <laughs> yeah. guys yeah. thank you so much for tuning in to yeah. uh this candy making episode there's going to be a lot more videos to come so yeah. guys please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next maybe, video and maybe i can get him to help me <laughs> yeah right christmas is coming <laughs> all right thanks, thanks.